Yo, what's going on guys? Arax here and welcome back to another Destiny video. Now the Axis Challenge mode has gone live for the Wrath of the Machine raid. So if you load up Destiny and jump in the raid, whether that be on normal mode or heroic, you can take part in the challenge and get your loot in the process. So in this video, I'm going to tell you guys what you need to know and how to complete it. So if you do enjoy this, you do find it helpful, then a like would be super appreciated and comment down below if you have any questions. Now, first things first, the challenge mode itself takes place during Axis Phase 2, so you can simply blitz through Phase 1, no need to checkpoint that, it is just tied to Phase 2. However, before I speak about the technique, in order to complete the challenge mode, you are going to have to have an understanding of the supercharge mechanic. Now, the supercharge mechanic has been present in the raid ever since it went live, but because it's never been mandatory, people have never really made use of it. However, if you are familiar with Axis Phase 2, then you will know that during the fight, the captains come out, you kill the captains, they drop their cannons, and then the servitors come out. Now, the servitors then make their way towards one of three different platforms. Now, these platforms are very important. See, during the servitor phase, you of course want to kill them before they get there. However, also during Axis Phase 2, you will know that three of your six guardians in your fire team will gain the empowered state. This is typically used to stun Axis so that you can then deal damage to them. However, there is another component to this. One of the three platforms that the Servitor would normally go to will also be marked with a red light beacon. If one of your fire team that is empowered and that is not slamming Axis then goes over to this and presses X, they will then be able to discharge their empowerment and supercharge the team. What this basically does is it refreshes every single person's super on your team, which in itself is actually pretty useful because you can then go and use that to deal some additional damage to the boss, put on a tether, a bubble, anything like that. But it effectively gives a use to the other empowered players who are not slamming Axis. Now a couple of things you need to know about the supercharge mechanic. This can be done each time Axis teleports. So during a DPS phase, this can be done three times because you'll know that he'll do a short teleport, then a second one, and then the third one where he stays for a longer period of time during which you deal damage. Now each of these teleports, you can also supercharge one of the other plates. However, only one of the three plates will ever be marked with a red beacon, and that is the one that you can supercharge on, and it will always be one of the two plates that is not where Axis is. So, for example, if Axis teleports right, then either the left or the middle plate can be supercharged plates, and if he teleports middle, then it can either be left or right, and if he goes left, it can be middle or right. And again, to emphasize, this can be done on each teleport. So, per DPS phase, there are three supercharges. And now that you have an understanding of the mechanic, that ties into challenge mode. Because in order to complete the access challenge mode, you have to supercharge on every single teleport during the DPS phase. So if you do enough damage to two phase axis, then you're going to need to supercharge six times. If you three phase him, then you're going to need to supercharge nine times or potentially less if he goes to the middle early. But the point is, for every single teleport he does, you must supercharge. If you do that, you will then complete the challenge mode. So... With that being said, I appreciate that it's a little bit confusing, so let me speak about how this works in motion. You begin the fight, as you always would, you deal with the shanks, you fight them until the captains come out, you then kill the captains, and at this point, three of your team are then marked as empowered. You'll do what you normally do, and you make sure that there isn't empowered on either side, left, middle, and right, so if you have to shuffle your team, then so be it. And you then pick up the cannon, you start taking out the servitors, you throw the bombs. But what I will say here is that when Axis is on the final bit of his shield, i.e. he needs one more bomb, Wait. What you then want to do is make sure that all three of your empowered players are in the right place. If you're on the left, you want to be in a position where you can see the plate and you can also get to Axis. If you're in the middle, same thing, make sure you can see the plate at the back and where Axis could spawn either at the back or in the middle and on the right, once again the same thing. This is important because when the final bomb is thrown, Axis will teleport and you need to supercharge before the other player dunks Axis on the back. So with all of your team in the correct place, what you then need to do is throw the final bomb Axis' shield will go down, he will then teleport. Make sure you call out so your team know where Axis is. If, for example, he goes left, then the empowered player on the left will not have to worry about their plate, they will just have to worry about getting to Axis. The other two players, they need to turn and look at their plate, and the one that has the red light beacon is the one that the player needs to run to. They run up, they press X, they supercharge, and ideally if you're doing this fast, then they would have supercharged just before the other player slams Axis. If you slam Axis, you can't supercharge afterwards, so you're going to need to try and do this first, but that is basically how you're going to do it. Now, the actual challenge mode itself is not that difficult. The difficulty comes in communicating and getting your positioning right. It will take you a little while to master this, but once you get it down, it's actually not that difficult. It's just really important that people know that if Axis is on their side, the other two people need to look at their plate, and also to make sure that when you down Axis' shield, that every single person is in the right place, because there is a very small window for this, so if you have to run 
halfway across the map to get to your plate, then you are going to be in a sticky situation. So, that is pretty much all you have to do. So to recap, in order to complete the Axis Challenge mode, you have to supercharge the plate on every single teleport for Axis during the DPS phase. That is three teleports per phase on average, unless of course you get to the end, where of course he's on the last bit of his health, in which case it might cut short if you go and hit the threshold. Either way, hit the supercharges every single time and you will complete Challenge mode. You then go down to the middle, get your chest, and it's as simple as that. So, hopefully that made sense. I appreciate if you guys have never used the supercharge mechanic, it might be a little bit confusing. But as mentioned, it's really all about getting your positioning right. If you have people in the right place and they're able to look at their different plates, then you shouldn't have a problem. Anyway, for the time being, thank you for watching. Take it easy. Catch you next time. Peace out. <laughs>